Red Bull Racing has dropped a bombshell on Sergio Perez. Eddie Jordan, the outspoken former F1 team boss, has warned that Perez could be the team's downfall if they keep him for the rest of the season. Sergio Perez's performance at Red Bull Racing has been a cause for concern since he signed a contract extension. Jordan believes the team should seriously reconsider its decision to retain Perez, especially now that a championship title could be at stake. On the latest episode of the Formula for Success podcast, Jordan didn't care to sugarcoat his words when discussing Perez's future with Red Bull. He was clear in his criticism and concern for the team's prospects if they continue with Perez in his current form. This episode came out before Red Bull officially announced they would keep Perez for the rest of the 2024 season. However, Jordan's warnings still ring true. He pointed out that seven different drivers have won a race this season, the first time since 2012. More notably, Max Verstappen's biggest rival isn't his teammate Perez, he isn't even a real contender for the championship, but Lando Norris. Jordan specifically pointed to Perez's performance at the Belgian Grand Prix as a key reason Red Bull should consider making a change sooner rather than later. Red Bull and Christian Horner must be aware that after yesterday, it was consolidated in my mind, Jordan said of Perez's performance. Yes, there was bad qualifying, and yes, there was this in the past, and disappointment, and not getting into the final qualifying with Checo. But to actually start on the front row and finish in eighth, or it he may have been promoted to seventh in the end as a result of Russell, it was a very poor performance in my opinion. I can't see how they cannot do something. After considering Red Bull's options for an additional driver, Jordan determined that the team will have to try a couple of people for Perez's seat because they will not want to lose the Constructors' title, and they are going to lose the Constructors' title if they don't. It needs immediate action, and you don't get a second chance of these things. When you see a new look at the situation, you have to work out, where is McLaren coming? Where is Mercedes coming? Less so Ferrari, perhaps, because they kind of trip over themselves from time to time. But those two British teams next door to each other, one in Brackley and the other in Woking, for heaven's sake, they know what it's like to win championships and they will fight like hell with Red Bull. Although Perez's performance is a major concern, Jordan also acknowledged that Red Bull's latest car, the RB20, has not been as strong compared to other teams' cars this year. He expressed some optimism, stating, the engineers will find a solution. However, he reiterated, however, Checo is an issue and they're going to have to do something about this. Jordan's criticism of Perez isn't new. Following the Silverstone race, he remarked on his podcast that Perez had lost his mojo. He explained, We know what a great driver he was, usually in the wet, or when tyre situations came in. But that's all eliminated itself out of the situation, Jordan began. The clear path that he has on street circuits, he doesn't have anymore. He's lost his mojo. Since he has renewed the contract, I see a distinct lack of performance. And I have to ask the question, why is that? What has happened? Because it should be quite the reverse. At the beginning of the season, Perez renewed his contract with Red Bull Racing. Jordan compared Perez's current situation to that of Nico Rosberg in 2016. You get a new contract and you say, wow, let me make the maximum out of this. Let me win some races. Let me fight for the championship, just like Nico Rosberg did with Lewis Hamilton. For heaven's sake, he's got the same car as Max Verstappen, but only last week he was a second a lap of the qualifying of his teammate. That's unacceptable, concluded the Irishman. Sergio Perez is currently in the middle of one of his worst mid-season slumps since he joined Red Bull. Having scored just 28 points in the last eight races compared to Max Verstappen's 141, his poor performance has put Red Bull in a vulnerable position at the top of the Constructors' Championship. Despite calling Perez's performances unsustainable, Christian Horner has consistently maintained publicly that Perez's seat is not in immediate danger, though there might be more pressure behind the scenes. After the race in Spa, Horner said, of course you take so many things into consideration, but it's been a great partnership between the two of them. Checo, he's a great team player, he's a massive team player, and that's why he was selected, that's why we took him at the end of 2020 to put alongside Max. He's won, what, six, seven races for us, second in the World Championship last year, goodness knows how many podiums. It's been the most successful combination we've ever had as a driver pairing. What's frustrating for everybody is Checo struggling because nobody wants to see him struggle. 
Everybody wants to see him succeed. The team has been and is right behind him. Everybody wants to see him succeed because it hurts seeing him in the situation that is. Horner has vowed to help the Mexican driver regain his lost form. The priority is to support Checo and to understand what he needs. We all want him to turn it around. We all want to see him deliver. He's as acutely aware as anybody that we need both cars performing, which is what we had at the beginning of the year, and that's where we need to get back to. Following a meeting after the Belgian Grand Prix, Christian Horner and Helmut Marko decided that Perez will stay alongside Max Verstappen for the foreseeable future. In an announcement to Red Bull personnel at their Milton Keynes base, Horner said, Checo remains a Red Bull racing driver despite all the speculation of late. We're looking forward to seeing him perform at circuits where he's done well before, after the summer break. The 2024 Constructors title might be something Red Bull is willing to sacrifice. For several years, the real importance of this championship has been more crucial for teams at the back of the grid, where position changes significantly impact their ability to develop the car for the following season and influence the organization's overall well-being and future prospects. For a top team like Red Bull, winning the Constructors' Championship has become more of a bonus, especially for the on-the-ground workforce at the end of the year. By deciding to keep Perez, Red Bull might have given McLaren, now just 42 points behind, the opportunity they needed. With Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri performing consistently well, McLaren is a strong contender in the team title race. But how much does losing the Constructors' title really matter in the big picture? Perez's role in Max Verstappen's rise as one of the greatest drivers in F1 history shouldn't be underestimated. Perez has provided Max the space to excel by being a supportive teammate, even if sometimes slower and inconsistent. This dynamic has worked exceedingly well since 2021, leading to unprecedented success for the team. Red Bull is cautious about disrupting this balance unless absolutely necessary. If preserving this dynamic means potentially losing the constructor's title, they seem willing to take that gamble, at least for now. Looking ahead to next year, the era of Red Bull's dominance appears to be waning. The 2025 season might see a weaker Red Bull still adapting to the loss of Adrian Newey, struggling against a maturing McLaren. Mercedes seems to have regained their stride, and Ferrari, reinvigorated by the arrival of Lewis Hamilton, could also be strong contenders. If the competition at the front becomes even tighter in 2025, the gap that has often separated Verstappen and Perez on the starting grid in previous seasons might close. While Max is brilliant and capable of holding off rivals on his own, Red Bull will need a strong wingman. The question is, can they afford to take that risk? So there you have it. Perez must re-emerge as an active competitor, not just someone who's along for the ride ahead of the 2025 season. The dynamic between Perez and Verstappen has been the key to their successes for the past three years, but with competition from McLaren, Mercedes and Ferrari becoming a bigger and bigger threat, Red Bull needs both drivers performing at their absolute best. Will Perez be able to find a way out of his poor form? Or will he end up being removed for someone like Liam Lawson? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest F1 news.